All right, going through our function flow model, it's kind of a map that we use to kind of track our way through reality, make sure we're not hitting any blind spots, which we all are gonna do anyways. It just kind of helps you realize, oh, when I screwed things up, ha, at least now I know I didn't do this function or this human need enough. Okay, great. Ideally, you're starting off with what you love, what is important to you, what's valuable to you, your FI, you know how it works, you have your own experience, you've thought through the reasons, you've made it practical, you've made it real, you've TI'd the hell out of it. You've now moved on, you've done a lot of market research, your SC, you know the factual data, you know your place in the environment, you're not working in some kind of a bubble. Then you've been able to organize those facts, SI. You've known the information so well in your targeted area that you love and that what you're good at, that the patterns start to emerge because you've just gone over the data so many times. Just like you're playing a video game over and over and over again, once you really get the facts down, you start to see the patterns in this world, right? And now from there, you're gonna start to zero in on one or two of those patterns. They're gonna be your patterns. You can take patterns in a million different directions. Yay, any the opportunities are endless. They're so endless, you never go anywhere. There's always a better way coming around the corner. Great. You're going to have to pick one. So all the NEs out there, oh, they hate this part. Because once they go down one road, they see 10 more. And they want to they go down each one of those two. Well, too bad. So NI, the function that everybody thinks they have, the, the, that function doesn't really work all that well if you haven't done the other functions before it. Because if you're just randomly locking on to some goddamn pattern and some path and some abstract connection, and you don't know what the hell you're talking about, you don't even know if it's important to you, you haven't done your sensory factual research in your data, which you haven't, because if you save your NI, you're going to skip over that SE, let alone SI, right? And then are you even looking at all the other patterns and all the other options? No, you're not, because you've already dialed in on this pattern that you love, because NI introverted subjective, you like this one, so you go for that one. So the chances of you using your NI the wrong way is pretty damn high. And that, again, reference tidal waves, reference we all feel lonely and misunderstood and the world doesn't make sense and we're scared to leave our house. This kind of has something to do with it. So NI is a great function, whether you have it or not, as a savior or not, or whatever. It's just basically getting to that point in life to where you're like, okay, look, I know the path I'm on. I know what I like. I know what I'm good at. I know what I want to do. I've done my due diligence to the facts. I've got it organized. I see all the possibilities. I see all the options. And now I'm going to choose to go down this road. And I know that I'm going to pay the price for the limitations and the problems that this path takes. I know it may not be the most ideal path for everyone, but this is the one that I'm choosing to go down. And this is going to be the path that I'm going to pave this road. I'm going to make this work. So for example, you know how you always hear people talk about NI knows the future. It's like, yeah, kind of, it's more like you are responsible responsible to know your future if you are using your NI. No, you're not going to know what exactly is going to happen tomorrow or next month or next year in great detail. There's always fun surprises and the map is always changing, of course. But you can get rid of a lot of anxiety and a lot of guesswork of what you're going to do a year from now if you are setting a course for yourself that you see in the abstract for yourself. And it's got to be abstract. It can't be specific. You can't say, I'm going to do this job and make this much money on this day. Like, no, that's not quite how NI works because you have to almost disrespect the sensory because that may play out any which way. You got to know, I will be walking this path in life. This is what I'm going to be on today, tomorrow, and next year. This is my path that works for me. I've done my SE research. I have my internal decider settled. I love this. I like this. I want to do this path. I've done my research. I've organized my facts. I've looked at all the options and the patterns. This is the road that I want to go down. I'm going to continually look for ways to reinforce and understand my patterns and my path. So if you have Savior and I, you're already doing this too much, dial back on the future projection of what you want to do and who you want to be and all that fun, amazing stuff that someday in the future, go to work on it, building the practicality now. And if you don't have Savior NI disease, do know that you can be responsible for what you're going to do in the future. You can plan the future because it's your future to some degree.